Okay, let's read this uh, trim well real quick. Uh, the first thing you want to start with will be the well. So let me just go grab all the pieces of the well and then uh, group them together. And then make sure you move the pivot to the center of the well. And then let's just call it well middle. Okay. And then its rotation will be where we start with. So let me uh, give it some animation to make it rotate. Uh, so let me just rotate two circles. <coughs> I rotated uh, seven and seven hundred and twenty degrees like this. Of course, it's easier to <coughs> see stuff when I have no easy in, easy out. Okay. Now the le next thing you want uh, to f uh, you want it to you want to be following the wheel will be those things. Uh, it's got the crayon or something, right? <laughs> Let's use that to do a constraint. Uh, point constraint. Of course, you need uh, you need a maintenance of that. Otherwise, you have to move pivot match one by one, which is not necessary. And then for that one, you can use uh, the panel, and then you can use this panel because it's pivoted is over there. You can use this panel to point constraint on it okay so it will follow like that and now of course it needs to be rotating so you just need to select anything on the well uh, to do a orange constraint on this object so constraint orange okay that way it will follow like this uh, for this well let's do the IK way uh, before we do that uh, let me just group the well let's call it uh, well back I'll get a little piece. Oh no, 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 no. I got. I think I got every piece here. No. Huh? That one shouldn't be inside the wheel piece. <laughs> Should be inside the current piece. Okay. Got it. So that one will be underneath the wheel back. And then you want the pivot also to be moved to the center of the wheel. And then let's just isolate that panel so it's easier for me to see stuff. See stop. Let's go create skeleton and then go holding down V button to snap the first skeleton there. Holding down shift and drag a new one. When that is done, grab the last one and holding down V button to snap it to the center of uh, the, this bottom uh, vertex. You want to make sure that when you look at it from uh, side view, uh, it's all uh, a straight line. Okay, if you have that true, then you just need to go give it a Aki handle. Like well. To control it. Oh, you know what? I did a wrong Aki. It's a rotation plan, which is not necessary. <laughs> Let me redo it. Uh, so skeleton create icon handle. You can just use a single chain instead. A single chain. Okay, go from the beginning to the end, and then if you rotate it or drag it around, you see you can rotate the joint. Let's select this piece and then control select the icon handle. Let's do a constraint, point constraint. That way, when I play the animation, it's uh, it will be rotating the same way. handle back well and that's joint uh, joint back well and then joint back well end and that should be it and then you want to use this joint to do a orange constraint with maintain offset on that well then we'll rotate Although uh, it could have this flipping thing happening, okay. Uh, one of the things you you can try to fix that uh, will be select the joint, and then you want to go change the rotation order to something like Z X Y. Uh, just make sure the Y is at the, at the back, 
doesn't really fix it. And then another thing you can try is, uh, oh, why don't have I? I think there's something wrong with my rotation constraint. I'm only constraining x. That's why the other side are not flipping, I guess. So let's do that again. <laughs> Select the joint and then the wheel back. Let's do constraint, uh, orange constraint. Let's do restart settings and maintain offset and then apply. Okay. Yeah, that's rotating properly. Uh, but you have to know that uh, there is popping here. But somehow, uh, because that popping happens instantly, so you wouldn't even notice that. So it will be okay. Um, but the easiest way to rig the well uh, will actually be uh, just mm, just have the well. Oh, those are okay. Just have the well to be orange constrained by the middle well. So let's name this well the. Uh, wheel front and then you just need to use these uh, the wheel middle oh, that should be parented on this wheel front you just need to use the wheel middle to do a orange constraint on the wheel front okay oh we also want to make sure that the pivot is placed properly okay that way it will behave just fine. Okay, so that's those uh, little parts. Um, let's do this one. This little thing here, it's very easy to do. All you have to do is create a, another IK from the beginning to the middle here, to this turning point here, and then to the end. And let's drag it over. And then let's go create a AK handle on it. Okay. So this will be uh, JT following hinge. Zero one. Zero two and then zero three. Okay. And then the the IK will be IK handle following hinge. All right. Now for it actually to be able to move, uh, one thing you need to do is uh, make something to constrain the IK and that something has to be following this entire well. Uh, the good choice would be this one. So let's parent it to uh, this little piece here. So they are now together. Okay, that's the little thing here. We use this little thing to control the IK handle, so constraint, point constraint. That way, when you wrote, uh, play the animation, you see the joint is moving like this. Uh, and then you can use the joint to do a constraint, uh, parent constraint on the geometry. Of course, a maintain offset would be nice. So, do the same thing there. And uh, here, let's also do the same thing so the joint will do parent constraint on those pieces okay you want to do that one by one otherwise you're using two object to constrain one so that part was uh that part was easy let's move on to the uh tricky part which is this one uh, first thing you want to do is use our panel again here in the middle do a uh, point constraint now uh, this little object so constraint point constraint that way it will follow and then you want to use this one to control uh, the same thing but this time it's going to be a aim constraint instead uh, of course maintain upside would be nice okay and then you want to use this moving thing here to point constraint the other one so let's do point constraint. So select this first and then this one, do point constraint. That way it will follow, but we can just select it and then disable the Y direction by break connection there. That way it will make it go only left and right. All right, when that is done, you just need to power in this little guy to it to make them work all together. Now, the last little piece here will be another IK handle. So skeleton create joints. Go from the beginning to the middle and then to the 
n, which is over here. Let's move it over. And then you just need another IK handle. Let's name it SJT uh, front following hinge. Zero one, zero two, zero three. Okay, and then the Yaki handle, uh, which is this one? Oh. No, I haven't done an Yaki handle yet. <laughs> so let's do Yaki handle. Skeleton create Yaki handle. The same kind of Yaki from the beginning to the end. Uh, this Yaki will be Yaki handle hinge. Okay. Now to make the follow, you just need to use our moving piece to do a point constraint on the IK handle, so we will drag the IK handle around and then you just need to use the joint to do parent constraint on the underlying structure like this and we are done with this okay now what you want to do is uh, let's create controllers uh, those things, don't know why I have those cameras probably not need them. Let's grab those uh, IKs and joints, let's group, group them together, let's call this uh, rig grp and then let's go show everything here and then go create a master mover. Um, before you parent anything make sure you freeze transformation on it. Okay and then you just need to grab all the stuff and drag them underneath the master mover. All right. And then you want to use the master mover to control the rotation uh, of the middle well instead of using the animation. Let's go delete it. Okay. Now let's do the node node based way. First, first thing we want to go look for is the circumference. So let's go create a uh, measure to distance to go from the top all the way to the bottom. Okay, locator, um, well, diameter, top, bottom, and then that's the distance, uh, well, diameter. So we're, me we're measuring the diameter uh, in this case. Okay. Now what you want to do is go to the uh, window, node editor, and uh, now we have the diameter. We just need to calculate the circumference. Uh, so to do so, you need to use the diameter to multiply by pi. So let's do a multiply divide. Okay. And that's going to be the circumference. I think that's n, not quite sure. <laughs> anyway, so let's use distance and, uh, as the, di the diameter. The distance is the diameter of the uh, wheel. And then we multiply that by pi, which is 3.14. And then we got the circumference as the output. And then we need to measure the distance uh, our master mover has moved. The forward direction is translation z, so let's get the translation z and then let's do multiply divide oh, not that one circles, how many circles to for the Welsh to be rotated so that's translation z mod uh, subdivided by the circumference. Okay, so it's gonna be a subdivide. Uh, that's gonna be a divide. <laughs> Sorry, divide. So zero divided by that, and then that's gonna be how many circles uh, the wheel should be rotating. Uh, should have rotated, and uh, then we just need to calculate uh, the degree by multiply the circles with. Uh, 360 
degree. Okay. So we use outputs and multiply that by 360 and we should get the rotation of the wheel. Uh, let's try that by having the wheels uh, group here and use the output X to control rotation X. Okay. And that way when you drag, you should see the wheel moving exactly as uh, what is supposed to be moving. Of course, uh, we added a few things uh, to the uh, scene, like those measuring two, it would be better to pattern them underneath the master mover, that way it's uh, uh, it's normalized. Alright, so let me also show you the coding way of doing so. Uh, to do so, let's just break the connection on the X and redo it. Right click on it and do a create new create new expression. Let's name this expression well rotation. Okay, we're gonna change that to by expression name. Do that again. <laughs> well rotation. Okay. Let's go grab the well and uh, copy its name. Copy its name. We'll, let's just make the uh, tx equals zero. That way I can do a create to actually create this, uh, oh, sorry, not TX, uh, um, RX, rotation X equals zero. Okay. No rotation and then create. All right. Now we have an expression to work on. Now instead of making it equals to zero, we're going to make it equals to the, uh, calculation. So let's go grab the diameter here. I'm making sure you got uh, the attributes correct. One of the easiest way is you try to do the connection and then Maya will give you, you a warning, right? And that is the attribute we need. Let's copy it. So that equals the diameter multiplied by pi, which is uh, 3.5. 14, okay, and that's the circumference. And you want to use the distance the uh, master mover has moved. So let's go copy it. And that's, that's gonna be the distance, which is a translation Z, right? The translation Z, subdivide by the uh, circumference. And then if we multiply that with 360, that's going to be how many uh, degrees uh, the wheel has be, uh, should be rotating. It should have rotated, right? Uh, translation, subdivide by the circumference and multiplied by 360. Let's add it. And then if you drag the controller again, you'll see it's moving exactly like before. But this time it's using a calculation way. But either way, it will work. Okay, so that's the entire process of rigging the train wheel and you just need to read the other one for the assignment. And uh, thanks for watching and see you next time.